Hi friend, Nathan here and uh, apologies for the quarantine hair. Uh, if you're watching this in 2020, you get it. It is what it is. The hair is probably gonna get worse before it gets better. But if you're watching this in the future, you better be watching with a fresh cut because going out and getting a haircut is a thing again and life has returned to some form of normal. Uh, but anyway, today we're talking about tremolo. Tremolo is a classical guitar technique in which your A, M, and I fingers all play the same note in quick succession, creating this seamless, flowing, continuous melody. It's a beautiful effect and it creates a sound and a mood that's really unique to the guitar. But the problem is, it's really hard. Now, I'm not gonna make empty promises about how developing a good tremolo is easy if you just do X, Y, or Z, because no matter how you spin it, developing a great tremolo is not easy, but it can be simple, and that's the game changer. So I'm gonna simplify the process for you by giving you everything that you need to focus on to develop a great tremolo so you can be confident that if you put in the work and if you put in the time, to focus on these things, you will come out in the end with a beautiful tremolo. So make sure you watch through the end of the video because I'm gonna talk about four things to focus on to develop this killer tremolo. The last of which is something that a lot of people don't really talk about related to tremolo and it's something that I had to discover for myself, but it makes all the difference in making your tremolo quick and fluid. As we dive in here, if you wanna help out the channel real quick, just scroll down, hit the like button, it helps more than you think, and uh, leave me a comment letting me know what your favorite tremolo piece is. It could be an arrangement of mine that incorporates tremolo or a piece from traditional classical guitar repertoire. But jumping right into number one, I want you to spend the majority of your time practicing tremolo on inner strings. Most people default to practicing on the high E string, and the problem with this is it's a lot more forgiving of big sloppy movements that you can't get away with on other strings. I can swat out like this with my A, M, and I fingers and not worry about hitting other strings, but as soon as I have to play that tremolo on an inner string, like the B string for example, that sloppy technique is gonna come back to bite me because I'm gonna be hitting other strings all over the place. Practicing on inner strings forces you to develop a more accurate and efficient movement in your fingers so that you can then avoid hitting other strings. That's why the beginning of Recuerdos de la Alhambra makes for a great tremolo exercise because the tremolo takes place on the B string here. Moving on to number two, and this was a game changer for me, practice your tremolo staccato, meaning as soon as one finger plays, the next finger instantly plants on the string, cutting the note short, creating this disconnected staccato sound. Now, that staccato sound obviously isn't the end goal here, but what we're practicing is the preparation of each finger with this sequential planting. Preparing the notes in advance by planting your next finger on the string right after the previous finger plays trains your fingers to get on the strings quickly and to stay close to the strings at all times, always ready to play at a moment's notice. Practice this slowly and with a metronome, especially since this sequential planting is probably gonna feel kind of confusing at first, uh, but as you get more comfortable with it, then you can gradually speed up, but you really wanna focus on an even rhythm here. Uh, one of the most common causes for a sloppy tremolo is a lopsided rhythm where certain fingers play faster than others, uh, and that's usually a result of trying to go too fast too soon, so keep it slow. Number three is a practice technique that's incredibly useful in building speed in all areas of guitar playing, incorporating speed bursts. Speed bursts on guitar are like the equivalent of running a sprint, right? We're capable of higher speeds for shorter amounts of time and we need to build endurance to be able to maintain those faster speeds for longer. So we use speed bursts to push the limits of how fast we can play something for tiny pockets of time and then we gradually increase the duration of those speed bursts 
to build our endurance. Endurance plays a big role in tremolo, especially when you're playing a piece that consists entirely of tremolo. You might feel okay for the first minute, but your fingers run the risk of getting tired and sloppy as time goes on. So let's look at how we can incorporate speed bursts into our tremolo practice. Let's just take a simple G major arpeggio with our third finger on the third fret of the low E string. Our thumb is gonna move between that note and the open D and the open G. The tremolo itself is gonna appear on the B string with our A, M, and I fingers again. Now we're gonna incorporate our whole bag of tricks here. We're gonna practice our tremolo on an inner string. We're going to play it staccato by planting our fingers and we're gonna do a speed burst. So here's how the speed burst works. Using a metronome, you're gonna find the max tempo that you can still play the tremolo nice and steady and clean, but it pushes your limits to the point that you can only sustain that for a few beats. So once you determine that max tempo, cut it in half. This half speed is where we're gonna spend the majority of our time. So play through the tremolo for four beats at this tempo. Then we're gonna play a quick speed burst double time at your max tempo for just that one beat. Then immediately start back over at half speed. Two, e, and uh, three, E, and uh, four, E, and uh, burst. And rinse and repeat. As this becomes easy, you're gonna extend the duration of that speed burst to two beats. Right? And you'll keep repeating that till that's easy, then you'll do three beats. And so on. So we talked about how doing these speed bursts is going to boost your endurance so that you can sustain this fast and smooth tremolo for longer periods of time. Now this fourth and final concept also relates back to endurance, but from a slightly different angle. And again, this is something that a lot of teachers don't even cover when they're teaching tremolo. And if I were a betting man, I bet that it's something that hasn't even crossed your mind, but it makes all the difference in being able to sustain a blazing fast and smooth tremolo. Before we dive into this last concept, I wanna remind you that if you wanna learn how to make your own classical or fingerstyle guitar arrangements like I do, go to my website beyondtheguitar.com or follow the link down below in the description to take my free training, Fretboard Freedom, where I teach you how to find and play chords anywhere on the fretboard. That one concept is the foundation upon which I build every single one of my arrangements. Uh, it's crucial to know and I wanna teach it to you for free, so go check that out. Now this last game-changing concept that I basically just had to stumble upon is relaxing the pinky throughout your tremolo. Now if you're thinking that that sounds anticlimactic, hang in there with me because this is huge. This is another one of those things that a lot of us might understand at face value. Like of course I need to keep my fingers relaxed, but when it comes down to actually doing it, we miss the mark. You need to pay attention to what's going on in your hand at such a detailed level to catch this. I started noticing that when I was experiencing fatigue and my tremolo, it wasn't in the fingers that I was actually using for the tremolo like you would expect, but rather, in this whole region of my hand, which tracks back to tension in the pinky. Because when we tense our pinkies, you can feel this muscle on the side of your hand tensing up and contracting. So why does this happen and why is it so harmful for a fluid tremolo? It's really common as guitarists for us to curl up or stick out or just generally tense up fingers in both the left and right hands that we aren't currently using especially the pinkies. So when all our other fingers are operating at such a high level of intensity to keep this tremolo going, we don't know what to do with our pinky and we struggle to keep it completely free of tension while those other fingers are moving. So even if you're holding the smallest amount of tension in your pinky over time, that builds and causes a negative ripple effect across your entire hand. So if your pinky is stiff with tension, that restricts the movement of your other fingers, which obviously has a negative impact on your tremolo. And as I mentioned before, tension in the pinky radiates down to this muscle on the side of our hand. And over the course of an entire tremolo piece, that tension in this muscle can lead to serious fatigue and even pain. And that 
is the silent killer of a good tremolo and is something that we wanna avoid at all costs. So the cure for this comes down to awareness. You wanna pay very close attention to any amount of tension that starts to build in that pinky. So as you're practicing your tremolo, spend a significant amount of time keeping it really slow and focus on how the pinky and this muscle here feels. And as soon as you start noticing any amount of tension creeping in, relax, empty that finger of all tension, then keep going. The more you pay attention to this, the quicker you'll start to notice the early warning signs of that tension starting to build. So practice and focus on these four concepts. And if you put the time in, you'll finally get that blazing fast yet smooth tremolo that you've been looking for. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like to let me know and to help more people see it. Don't forget to check out my free training over at beyondtheguitar.com if you wanna learn how to make your own classical or fingerstyle guitar arrangements like I do. Uh, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on so you never miss future videos. And as always, much love and I'll see you in the next one. That's why the beginning of Recuerdos de la Alhambra, Recuerdos del Alhambra, Recuerdos de la 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 Alhambra, 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 bla, 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 Recuerdos de la Alhambra. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hello, we're gonna be playing the Recuerdos de la Alhambra. Enjoy. <laughs>